if you're taking your bike abroad to ride in the sun as we have here, or you may be heading off to ride a big sportif, here is GCN's guide to traveling abroad with your bike. It's highly recommended that you have your bike fully serviced before taking it abroad on holiday. This reduces the risk of you needing repairs when you're away, especially when you have to take your bike hundreds of miles to find somewhere with the correct tools and equipment to do the job. Also remember to take maintenance items and spares with you, including a mini pump, tools, spare tubes, puncture repair kit, and spare brake pads. The length of your trip and the distance you intend to ride will dictate just how much you'll need. Your bike travels in the hold of the plane and so needs protecting by either a bike bag or box. You could even use a cardboard box and we have videos to show you how to pack your bike using all three options, so go check them out. Whichever method you choose though, make sure the box is clearly labelled with your name and destination details. You'll also need to change the address for the return flight of course. There's some great luggage now dedicated to cyclists on the market to bring all your essential kit with you as well organised as your bike is. Airlines are used to checking bikes in as luggage and provided they're boxed correctly and within your weight guidelines you shouldn't come across any problems. However, it's certainly recommended that you check with your airline before you fly. Some airlines will charge a flat fee for sporting equipment which includes an extra weight allowance. Some airlines on the other hand will allow you to include a bike under your usual weight allowance. This can involve taking a bit of careful packing as usually the airline restricts your luggage weight to around 20 to 25 kilos. A properly boxed bike should weigh about 16 kilos. It's therefore advised to either pre-book extra weight allowances or if there's no restrictions to the weight of hand luggage, pack your heavy items to take on the plane with you. Remember that you will need to lift your bike box or bag yourself onto the luggage conveyor. Whichever airport you fly from, it's important to understand the airline's responsibilities. Even if you book a long time in advance, no airline will guarantee to get your bike, or in fact any of your luggage, to your destination airport on the same plane as you. While the airline is responsible for getting your bike from A to B, an international agreement called the Montreal Convention allows airlines not to carry any item of luggage for reasons of space or safety. If you're taking your bike abroad for a specific event rather than a holiday, be warned your bike may not be on the same flight as you, especially if there are a lot of cyclists on the same flight. Check the internet for cyclist recommended airlines. Make sure you take comprehensive travel insurance that covers injury and cycling equipment. Research the road rules in the countries you'll visit and visit www.fcowidget.com for road safety advice overseas. Guard your passport at all times and take photocopies of important travel documents just in case. If required, also ensure that you have a visa for each country on your trip. Make sure you take enough foreign currency with you as you might not have regular Hello. access to cash machines on the road. Forgot my wallet. Again. Learn some phrases and research local customs. People will appreciate the effort and it might keep you out of accidental trouble. Presa, cortado, café con leche, Amazonas. Finally, if you're going somewhere hot and sunny, drink lots of water and wear plenty of sun cream. If you want to learn how to pack your bike into a bike bag, click here. If you're going to put it into a cardboard box, click here. And if you're going to put it into a hard box, click here.